Remember when I was back in in high school, we read 1984 about Big Brother in the one world government. This is Big Brother you're looking at right here. His name is Barack Hussein Obama. See hope and change on either side of him. He said, never, this is a quote uh, they're using for the picture here, never, I repeat, never question my authority. I will not allow the Constitution to stand in my way. And that's, that's a fact. He might as well say those words every day because they're stone cold fact. So here's the latest. If you've ever flown on a plane before, you know the nightmare that is the TSA that all started on the false flag the U.S. caused 9-11. I've got a viral video did a few weeks ago on the anniversary of 9-11 that proves with zero doubt, no question at all, zero, zero, zero doubt that 9-11 was an inside job by the U.S. or false flag. And it was done to bring FEMA on board, get the FEMA camps ready get all of the, our rights stripped away. And if you've been in an airport, you know, you have no rights in there at all. They treat you like cattle. And this is the latest and greatest idea from the future Antichrist, Barack Hussein Obama. He now wants the TSA airport screeners to go to all the buses and all the trains all across Obama land and perform the same nightmarish slow motion duty there. Can you imagine a poor working mother trying to catch a bus or anyone trying to catch a bus for that matter or a train be it a, a regular train or amtrak you have to take your laptop out take your shoes off take your belt off get screened wait in long lines you must get ready for a four or five hour wait to even get on that bus or train our rights are being stripped away they're being eroded being taken away it's ridiculous my friends it is totally totally ridiculous see the thing is Congress has bought off on it. Congress is getting ready to vote on this madness. Obama plants these seeds and he sits back and laughs because he's got everybody believing. Republican, Democrat, independent alike, he's got them all believing that we need all this extra security because of all the Muslim problems that Obama has caused himself as he is a de facto leader of Islam for the whole planet. And I've proven that as well. Here's the bottom line. Jesus Christ is your only hope. There's no other hope. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed you the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. America is done. The world is done. Jesus is your only hope. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost daily. If you're not doing it, do it now. And if you are great and look up, our different draweth nigh, we fly soon. You guys take care of yourselves and please wake up and share the word to get it out there. Let's be ready because time is truly short. It's almost over. Bye.